There are loads of stars and I can kind of see some patterns. Yep. But what exactly is a constellation? Uh, well, a constellation is just a group of stars, really. They were named um, during the Greek, ancient Greek ages, and some of the other ancient civilizations have also named them. And it's just a way of identifying patterns in the sky. So they'd look up and see formations, and then they'd make a name and sort of a little bit of a story around it, really, based on their gods or, or different things like that. Well, I know Orion the Hunter, yep. who's over there. Yep. So what are other kind of really obvious constellations that people could go out and look for? Okay, so uh, if Orion's over there, then directly on the other side, you can look for Ursa Major, or the Plough, which is a small part of that, uh, also known as the Big Dipper. Oh, yes, that's the so one that looks look... like a pan. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And if you have a look at the, the pan part, yep. if you look to the top right star, if you carry on up, and that's the North Star, that's directly above the North Pole. So if you measure the angle between the horizon and the North Star, you can work out how far north you are. So would people have used that to navigate then? Yeah, absolutely. The days before GPS and radar, people would use this to navigate at night, sailors, um, things like that, yep. Is there another easy one to recognise? Um, another famous one is just above us actually, uh, Cassiopeia. Okay. It looks like um, a W or perhaps an M, depending on where it is in oh, the yeah, sky. Oh yeah, got that. You can see that, yeah. so that's, that's the W there. Right, I know Orion. Yep. <laughs> I know the Big Dipper. Yep. I've got Cassiopeia. Yep. I'm now going to go away and learn all of the other <laughs> constellations in the night sky. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.